when my colleague minister was saying um, in the IT and ITA sector where the startup ecosystem gems and gems and jewelry finance tourism the state boosts of the highest per capita income with almost three thousand eight hundred dollars in 21-22 financial year being the champion state of easing ease of doing business and with availability of almost uh, 48,000 acres of industrial land you must have heard uh, that Andhra Pradesh is the only state being ranked number one in ease of doing business in the last consecutive three years where the last two years of uh, ranking was based on the perception survey 100% perception survey with almost 356 um, issues taken up the business reforms action plan we are now ranked number one with almost 97.83 standing number one in the country us is the only state with almost uh, three industrial corridors which is the Vishakapatnam Chennai industrial corridor where we have five nodes of industrial development the other one is the Chennai Bangalore industrial corridor the other one is the Bangalore Hyderabad industrial corridor on these three specific industrial corridors we have almost 48,000 acres of land uh, for development of industry Andhra Pradesh is only state um, in India where the government of India is developing 11 industrial corridors in the country Andhra Pradesh is the only state having three industrial corridors we have almost 530 industrial estates 293 industrial parks three IT says six special economic zones and three uh, as I've just mentioned three industrial corridors where which makes Andhra Pradesh a competitive investment destination on the India's East Coast so the government of Andhra Pradesh intends to make regulatory environment more business conducive by providing best-in-class infrastructure zero hassle setup skill talent end-to-end hand-holding support for units and to reduce cost and risk of doing business in 2020 we released the industrial policy with three-year time frame that promoted a favorable investment environment which is coming to an end uh, probably in the next uh, week and we are coming up with the new industrial policy 23-28 with a five-year uh, plan as our director just mentioned which is going to be more uh, suitable for the industrial people to come and invest in Andhra Pradesh we are soon going to launch a new policy in a new avatar and emphasis on driving economic growth across key focus sectors which are the 13 major focus sectors promoting port-led industrial development end-to-end -end investor facilitation skilling and employment generation promoting entrepreneurship and startup culture inclusive and balanced regional development a single desk portal offers a one-stop digital platform for all domestic and industry and international investments the business specific approvals for setting up business are granted with within a maximum of 21 days uh, as just a director mentioned it's, it's, it's just 12 days time frame that we're giving all the um, approvals from from almost 96 departments in the state uh, I've just mentioned um, we have an abundant land bank of 48,000 uh, acres with uh, for industrial development the existing industries in the state of Andhra Pradesh um, is in in a land bank of almost one lakh acres uh, are already functioning the district level functionaries of pollution control board town planning factories department have been empowered to grant pre-establishment and post establishment approvals for MSMEs at district level through decentralization YSR AP1 is a multifaceted end-to-end -end business enablement center to provide support across the business life cycle Andhra Pradesh is well positioned in sectors such as food processing where our um, CEO Bharat took over the the food processing sector and I mentioned the opportunities in of food processing sectors in the state the marine product processing electronics pharmaceuticals textiles amongst many other sectors given the strong production capabilities 
in the state across aquaculture, agriculture, horticulture and dairy, Andhra Pradesh has high potential as a food processing hub. Andhra Pradesh is amongst top three in pharmaceuticals exports in India. The state is home to almost 200 pharmaceutical companies. And Andhra Pradesh is the only state uh, which got the bulk drug park in the southern part of the country where almost 17 states in the, in the country have uh, fought for it. And Andhra Pradesh is the only uh, southern uh, state in the country to get the bulk drug park with, with almost, we are getting an investment of almost 25,000 crores in the bulk drug park which is going to be established in Kakinada which is near to the Kakinada uh, port. Um, we will be getting an employment almost up to 40,000 people. The city is, almost, is amongst the largest producer of cotton in India and is also the second largest raw silk producer in India. State has gained significant traction in mobile manufacturing sector and producing one mobile phone every second uh, in the state. Many mo major large and mega units that started production in recent years include the automotive sector. From the automotive sector, we have Kia Motors, Hero Motors, ATC Tires, Apollo Tires and Ashok Leyland. And in the building materials, we have Sain Gobain in Vishakhapatnam. Uh, Kazaria, Ramco Cements and some other cement industries coming down to Andhra Pradesh. And in pharma, we have Divis Laboratories, Dr. Reddy's, Natco uh, and many other coming up. And in the electronics sector, we have Panasonic, uh, Blue Star and some other companies which have been mentioned by our um, CEO, Peter Kiran. In the last 3.5 years, the state has approved investments to the tune of almost 1.9 lakh crore that would go on to create an employment of around 90,000 people in the state. And 89 major large projects are under active implementation with a total investment of almost 2.2 lakh crores with potential to create employment of almost 30,000 people. The state's export rating increased from 7th in 2019-20 to rank 4th in 2021. According to the Leeds report, 2022, the state's exports increased by 15.31% from the previous year, 21-22, classifying it as achievers in the coastal states. Andhra Pradesh currently exports almost 2,100 products to nearly 190 countries. Some of the major product products that we export from the state cover sectors such as marine products, shipbuilding, bulk drugs, pharmaceuticals, rice and spices. So coming to the uh, maritime sector, uh, we have uh, six operating ports as of now. Three are being constructed by the government, one uh, by a private uh, um, developer, almost with the construction of the three new ports and the one being developed by the private uh, partner. We will be having ten ports in the state of Andhra Pradesh and nine fishing harbors with almost 974 kilometer coastline, which is the second largest in the country. A maritime board under the leadership of our dynamic chief minister, we are going to spend almost 15,000 crores on the maritime sector, um, where which will lead to the port-led uh, industry in the state. So as I have mentioned earlier, ease of doing business, we are ranked number one in the last three consecutive years, ranked number four in SDG India 2021 by Niti Aayog across social, economic and environment criteria ranked 6th in exports in 21-22 worth almost 1.44 lakh crores recording a growth of 15.31% over the previous year. So with this, I, the Andhra Pradesh go government conducting the Global Investment Summit 2023 is the perfect platform for for businesses to take advantage of Andhra Pradesh growth trajectory. I kindly extend a personal invitation to all of you to participate in the summit on March 3rd and 4th in the city of destiny, Vishakhapatnam. Andhra Pradesh is a state where abundance meets prosperity. We welcome you all on behalf of the government of Andhra Pradesh, on behalf of the Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Redgaru, to come 